I'm going to give a quick demonstration of the Corel Laser software. Start that from the desktop. And that brings up Corel Draw. And up in the corner here is the important part. That's a toolbar that controls the laser. Let's start by doing an oval. Something about uh, this size, indication of size up here in millimeters. And the two buttons you'll be interested in are engraving and cutting. So we select cutting. The laser does something, comes to life. I'm going to put the uh, material that we're going to cut underneath. And you can see here that the oval is represented on the screen. And you can grab this and move it around. And you'll see that the laser head responds. And this is the way that you can put the laser head into the location on the material you're going to cut. So. I'll try right there, and that should fit on the material that I'm going to cut. The other things that you need to set on this screen is the speed of cutting. It's a bit similar to the big laser, like 10 is a fairly good cutting speed. Um, other things here, uh, you can do a preview, and the way you do it, and that'll be equivalent of the box on the big laser. It'll do an outline, and uh, what I do is I turn the power down, the current adjust knob down to zero, uh, and press preview. If you don't turn the current adjust down when you have the lid closed, it'll actually fire the laser when it does the box. So I'll press preview now and we'll see what happens. So that gives you an outline of the size that is going to be cut onto your material. So that's about it. Let's uh, let's try a cut. Close the lid, and I'm going to set the current adjust to about 50%. And then pressing the starting button initiates the laser to do the cut. So I'm pressing starting. Strangely, the laser head goes back to the home position and slowly crawls back to where it's going to do the cut. And that's it. It goes back to the home and then returns to its origin. Uh, one thing I like to do is you can go back, if you want to have some room to pull your material out, Go back to cutting, and you can take this and then drag it up to the corner. You can see to move the laser head out of the way. So that's about it. I'll open the lid. And uh, voila, our oval in one eighth of an inch.